currently writing a book trilogy called Belladonna. The characters use weapons in the story, but how could I write about weapons if I'd never used one before? So I did some research, and that's when I discovered Pedro, a martial arts master of various styles. My name is Pedro Solana. I've been in Thailand teaching 25 years. I started training to develop skills to protect myself, and I saw that it was beautiful to be able to share with others what I have learned, so I became a teacher. I had the opportunity to train with Pedro at Muay Thai Sangha for a week, so I hopped on a bus and arrived in the Mae Tang district of northern Thailand. I actually got lost for nearly an hour, but eventually I found my way to the guest house and enjoyed my first meal at the school's restaurant with this really nice lady, Moi. There was no training the day I arrived, so I worked on my book before walking to a nearby market to pick up dinner, which I was very excited about, as you can see. This is literally the best piece of chicken I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's so much flavor. I met Pedro in person for the first time, and I had a lot of questions about his experience with martial arts and spirituality. I was living in the jungle. In the jungle? Yeah, oh, for uh, two years. I was curious of many different things that happen in the meditation, and I want to explore a little bit about myself. Even I tried to go into the martial arts more and more and more. The spiritual side is stronger. I am very excited, especially after meeting Pedro yesterday, but I'm also a little nervous because it's at least like six hours of training per day. We train in from Monday to Saturday. In the morning, three hours. In the evening, another three hours, 9 to 12, and 3.30 to 6.30. Then we go into yoga, stretching, normally until 7.30 and 8. That seems really intense to me. Like I've never physically exercised that many hours every day for that many days in a row. Before class, I said good morning to this snail, and then I had a really nice breakfast at the guest house. In the morning, we do meditation, mantra, and swords. I really believe that spirituality and martial arts belong together. To be able to train someone that is internally mature is very important to give them the tools of fighting. A higher uh, martial art skill is a higher responsibility to only fight in the extreme circumstances as the last choice. Use training fighters to go into the ring, I am completely not interested. If I add uh, the concept of through fighting, we finding ourselves, we exploring our fears, our ego, our anger, how we work with all those thoughts or emotions that appear in us, then my work is worth it. I quickly learned that double swords are a lot more difficult than they look. I felt like my coordination dropped from average to non-existent as soon as I grabbed the wooden handles. In the evening, we go directly into Muay Thai and uh, into yoga. A jump rope is probably the closest thing I'll ever have to an arch enemy. When someone punch you, when you have pain, that time is when I point to you and I said, do you see that? Do you feel your anger or do you feel your um, frustration? I said, yes, close the eyes, look at it. When you start looking at the emotions often, then you will be able to overcome whatever is there. Strangely enough, I never actually acknowledged how much jump roping frustrates me before. Maybe I should work on that. I just got back from my first day of training. It was really intense, to be honest. I'm also really scared that I'm gonna wake up and be very sore because it's definitely pushed me to my physical limits today. Every student should do the can crew. When the student rides the can crew with flowers, incense, 12 baths and candles, is accepting the teachings of the master. This has been going on since hundreds of years in the past. That's all, thank you. It's uh, very, very fast, very fast. <laughs> On my second day, I was mentally there and wanted to learn, but my shoulders were killing me, which made that very difficult.
What happened? Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? Huh? Slippery. That is the point. <laughs> really? For uh, this lady, I decide to top her mind is very important. Go. Ah, you attack Alberto, please. Go, 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 no stop. <laughs> go, 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 hit them. For context, he stepped on a thorn. Vamos! <laughs> Vamos! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Because he's like a. Oh, oh. You're training to be stronger, so. You don't think they wore shoes to battle? <laughs> no. <laughs> what about if you lose them? You gotta get used to, to the wars, so when you have the good, you enjoy. That is the, the principle. You took a nice sandbag. And then after you took a nice session of reflexology. You, Go home, mm -hmm. I see you 3.45. Later that day, I watched a turtle eat a cactus in utter amazement, and then came our evening class. I was even more sore during Muay Thai than in the morning, so it was a pretty rough training session for me. Shut you! Power! Get over there! Power! Power! And now my knees were on fire. Oh, wee! Very simple. Please be careful with the sheet. No problem, no problem. Challenge. If you kick hard, then you will have pain. Pain is uh, you curing your body. <laughs> okay, bring the hospital. The ambulance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One. Turn to the foot. Turn to the foot more. Twenty times. Stop. Stop. Pop. Pop. Mm. Up, 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 up. Good job, good job. Very good, very good. Now you're ready. You're ready for my knee. Ah, kick. Drop. Oh. I have a feeling that tomorrow, hopefully, my body will be somewhat adjusted to this training. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. When I woke up this morning, I went to turn on the AC and I literally almost collapsed onto the floor like I stumbled across the room. I am insanely sore, most notably my shoulders and my right knee and shin are bruised. It's raining pretty hard, so I've got to walk through the rain to get to the school, which is like a 10 minute walk, which does not seem like the most pleasant, but you know, the sky weeps with us, my friends. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who had trouble adjusting to this schedule. I came here and this is like six hour training every day. My muscle was like, yeah, very tired. Second week, I have to go to the hospital. I couldn't walk. My, my finger was like blocked. I have like trigger fingers, something like that, because of the sores and everything. Very hard, <laughs> very tired every day. I was thinking myself, what I'm doing here? After two weeks, three weeks, starting to get better, better and better. And I really enjoy now. Have you used the advanced sword? Only that one. Head up. Right sword over left. Make an X. Bring the leg in. Two. Left foot forward. Right hand on the chest. Go forward. I saw Pedro do this really cool move and I was determined to learn it too. The easier version, at least. So I started with one hand at a time and after many, many failed attempts, I finally got it. Oh. Got it? <laughs> one time. And then I got a very temporary upgrade. You say, oh, this is sword, huh? right? This is sword. I learned two things about swords. One, they're terrifying to use. And two, they're much heavier on the shoulders than the wooden ones are. Only self-defense. Do not this in home, please. Uh, this is very dangerous. If you play with the swords, you will get hurt, okay? Only under... Uh, a professional. At this point, my body really needed some rest, so I was grateful to get a break from training. Oh!
I got him in the butt. If the person comes here and really want to learn, we inter-exchange a lot of hours and a lot of training, a lot of sweat, a lot of pain. We become a kind of family. This week of training pushed me physically and spiritually more than ever. I had breakthroughs with martial arts and even with meditation. I'm no warrior, but I have a better understanding of the work that goes into training with weapons now, and a huge respect for anyone who does. This was a life-changing week for me in more ways than one, and I can't wait to see the impact it has on my books and my real life. I truly had an amazing time with everyone. I even got a little emotional saying goodbye. So thank you, Pedro, for sharing this unforgettable experience. My intentions is that this video inspire people to develop something for humanity and for themselves. Whatever you're doing, you are a painter, you are a cook, you are a person that cleans the floor, it doesn't matter. Find within yourself your life, your love, your um, connection with the universe. And I hope whatever you're doing, you express it and share it with others. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>